In this video, we will look at the basic select statements in an Oracle database. We'll start by looking at the syntax of the select statement, how we can select or retrieve all the data in a specific table from our database, and then we'll see how we can filter that data, display only specific columns or display specific rows that meet a specific um, criteria. So this is the um, database that we'll be using. We have uh, bookshop, we have customers, um, this is our entity customers, uh, we have the customer ID, last name, first name, um, email, the address, city, state, zip code, um, the repaired and the region. We have orders entity or table, the primary key is the order number and we have a foreign key coming from the customer which is the customer number. Um, order items, we have a composite primary key, the order number and the item number. Um, books has the primary key ISBN. Um, book author has the primary or a composite primary key ISBN with the author ID. And the author table has the author ID as a primary key. The publisher table has a publisher ID as a primary key. Today we are only looking at retrieving data from a single table. So we are not interested in our foreign keys today. So we're only interested in retrieving data from a single um, table from this database. So let's start looking at the select statement syntax. Um, the select statement starts with the select keyword, and this is a required keyword in your select statement. Um, and then you also have a from keyword, which is also a required um, keyword in your select statement. These are the only two required keywords in your select statement, select from. After the select, you can put all the columns that you want to display or you can leave it with a star, which means that you are selecting all the columns from that table. After the from keyword, you will be um, typing the table name that you want to retrieve the data from. All the other things that you have in here are optional. The only two required things are the select part and the from part. The select part, after it, you will be um, typing the column names that you want to display, or a star if you want to display all the columns. After the from keyword, you'll be typing the table name that you want to retrieve data from. So let's look at an example from the Oracle SQL developer tool. Again, I'm using that sample database that has the um, bookshop tables. So if we go and expand our tables in here, you'll see I have the tables, um, customers, order items, books, book author, um, author, and so on. So if I wanted to display all the columns in or all the data from a table, I can use select command. So this is my keyword followed by a star, which indicates that I'm selecting all the columns from that table, the from keyword, and then the name of the table that I want to select data from. In this case, it's called um, customers. And I can run this query by hitting this play, play um, green play button. And you'll see it displayed all the data from that table. So all the data from that table was displayed for me. That includes all the columns available in that table and all the rows in that um, table. If I'm only interested in specific columns, for example, I only want to see the first name of my customers, I can type in the column name. So first name is my column name. So this will only display the first name column. It will display all the values in the first name column. So if I run this query again, you'll see it's only displaying the first name um, column. You can also display more than one column at the same time. So instead of displaying only the first name, I can also display the last name too. So to do that, I will separate my columns with a comma and then I'll type last name. And that will display both these columns, first name and last name. So if you run this query, you'll see it's displaying the first name and the last name in here. Now, sometimes my data or my table columns will be stored in a way that is not really readable by the users. So they will have names that are not easily recognizable by our, by our users. So for example, if I wanted to display all the columns that I have in the box, books table, so select star from books. You'll see that I will have some columns that do not make any um, 
any sense for the user. For example, the pub ID. So pub ID stands for the publish or the publishing ID or the publisher ID. In that case, I can display it for the user in a different way. I'm not changing anything in the original database. I'm just changing how I'm displaying that for the user when they get try to get that data. So for example, if I wanted to get the um, title of the book, so title, comma, the publish or the publisher ID, pub ID. In this case, I'm only displaying these two um, columns. So the title with the publisher ID. However, as I said, I do not want to display it as pub ID. I can use a column alias. To do that, I can use the keyword as after the column that I want to assign an alias for. And then I can put, for example, replace it with publisher. Now, if I run it, it will now display it as publisher instead of pub ID. Now, if you want to have your column alias um, of multiple words instead of only one word, so we want to display it as publisher ID instead of publisher, you can do that by surrounding these multiple words with double quotations. So publisher ID, I'm surrounding it with double quotations. And now if we run it, it will display it as publisher ID instead of publisher. So assigning a column alias, you use the keyword as after the column that you want to give an alias. And then if you have one word, you can put it exactly as it is. Or if you have multiple words, you can surround them with um, double quotations. Now the as keyword is optional. So if you remove it, your code, your query will still work. So I still have publisher ID. So the as keyword is optional. If you put it or you leave it, that will work. Any word that you put directly after a column will be, um, will be recognized as a column alias. We can also perform arithmetic operations on our columns. So if we have columns that are storing numbers, we can perform arithmetic operations on these um, numbers. So for example, if we go again and look at the columns we have in the books table, so I'm gonna select star from books. You'll see that I have um, two columns that have um, a numeric values, the cost and the retail columns. So let's go and um, display these columns. So cost, comma, retail. You'll see they both are displaying numbers. If I wanted to display a column that displays the um, profit of these um, books, I can do the retail minus the cost. So I can do an arithmetic operation between these two columns. So retail minus cost. And that will basically display the result of subtracting each retail value from its corresponding cost value. So 30.95 minus 18.75, 22 minus 14.2 and so on. So if we run this query, we'll be getting one column that is the result of subtracting each retail value or subtracting the cost value from each retail um, value. We can also assign it an alias. So instead of showing it as retail minus cost, I can put an alias which says profit. So if we run this query now, we'll see the profit for each book. We can also display the name of or the title of that book. So title, comma, retail minus cost, and I'm displaying the retail minus cost as profit. So that will display the title of the book and the profit we are getting from selling this um, book. We can also do operations on a specific column on its own. So instead of subtracting two columns from each other, we can display, for example, the tax value that we are um, getting from that or we are charging for that um, book. So for example, my tax value is um, 7%. I can multiply my retail with um, 0.07 and then I can display it as tax. So if we multiply the retail by 0.07, that's the tax value that we'll be getting from that or we are charging for that book, which is 7% of that um, book value. I can also display the retail. So retail, title, retail, and then the tax itself. So you'll see that when we have a book that is costing or selling for $30.95, we are charging $2.16 as um, tax. Now for our text columns, we can also perform um, some operations on them like the concatenation. So for example, if we go back to our um, customers table, so we can select 
star from customers, we will see that we have two columns for the name. One is the last name and one is the first name. Now, instead of displaying them as two separate columns, I can go ahead and display them as one, um, one column that will display the full name. And instead of displaying the last name before the first name, I want to display the first name followed by the last name. So be, to be able to do that, we'll be using an operation called concatenation. So the concatenation will put the first column name, so first name, and then the concatenation symbol followed by the last name. So that will place both these columns next to each other in a single column. So you'll see we displayed both columns next to each other, the first name followed by the um, last name. Now, in this display, we are just combining these text values together. We are not showing any spaces. So to display space, I need to concatenate them with a space. So I will concatenate the first name, add to that a space. So I will put single quotation for the space and then concatenate that space with the last name. So that will display the first name, followed by a space, followed by the last name. So you'll see now we have the first name, space, followed by a last name. And also, I do not want to display the column header as first name, concatenation, space, concatenation, last name. I want to display it as full name, so I'm going to use a column alias, and then full name. So now I will be displaying the full name, that's the title of my column or the header of my column. And then the first name followed by a space followed by the last name for each one of my customers. So again, uh, concatenation is basically combining two columns together or two text values together. We are getting the um, first value from the first name. And then the second value is a space and the third value is the last name. We are combining them all together in a single column. And we are um, giving that column an alias called full name.